What's going on guys? All right, so I've got this boat here. I've wrapped the other side already and I'm promised to do a video on this because uh, if you, you want to see it, it's on every day we get a boat in here. So I've done one side already um, and we're gonna do this side right here. So I'm gonna explain one issue that I have right now is that in Toronto, when I order Avery Diamond Blue, which is right here, and I order it from Grimco, they only sell it in five yard rolls. This boat is 18 feet. That means I have a 15 foot roll. It's a huge pain because I actually have to stretch this about a foot and a half on either end. It doesn't, it's not gonna compromise it over such a large piece of film. We're looking at like 10%, but again, it does kind of suck to do it. So, cause I'm stretching it at one and a half feet. Yeah, I'm stretching it about 10% in total. And I'm trying to stretch it across as large of an area as I possibly can. Now we have to be careful with this film because we can run into discoloration and stuff like that because of the, the metallic flake. So that's just one problem that I have with what I'm doing with this boat. I don't want to put a seam in it. It's ugly to put a seam in it. So let's get to it. Anyways, I've done the back section and I'll show you that. I've also got the knifeless tape lined up. So you can see I have knifeless tape on the top and I have knifeless tape on the bottom. This, this top section it, from here to the knife of save is going in gloss black. I'll show you the other side quickly. I have a piece on the back here because obviously I can't even get, I can barely, I can't even make it to here. I'm a foot and a half short basically. So I have to put a piece on the back and then here's the other side. So you can't, you can't even really see that seam that much. Another issue that I have is that there's a lot of silicone under here. And so I had to do a lot of cleaning because of that trim piece that they put on there. So I had to clean it up quite a bit. So this is exactly what it's gonna look like on the other side as I finish it right now. And I'll do this with you. So I've divided it right down the middle as you can see. The gloss black I have no issues with. It's only for whatever reason, this diamond line, I can't get it, I can't seem to get it in a roll larger than five yards. So I ordered two five yard rolls for this boat, just so you know. So let's get it back here. So I'm gonna show you a little trick as far as being able to anchor the vinyl to the boat because this boat is fiberglass, right? So all boats, most boats are fiberglass. Some are aluminum. And what we need to do is we need to anchor the film to the, to the boat to line it up. So I'm gonna start with the back and I'm gonna peel back. What I do is peel back a corner, all right? So I'm just gonna stick that first corner down. And then I have a roll of tape, all right? So what I wanna do with this roll of tape is keep it handy. And I'm gonna mask, I'm gonna mask it off every few feet. So I'm gonna use the tape to hold the vinyl in place. This is if you're doing it alone. If you're doing this, if you're doing this with someone, it'll be much easier. So I just don't want it flopping around and falling and it's just much easier to do it like this. So just a little, a little pointer, that's all. So I might not be able to get all of this video in uh, the whole boat in the video, like as far as the size of the boat goes in, in the screen, I'll try my best. Just moving to the front of the boat here. So again, if I had extra hands, it wouldn't be as difficult. But it's really not that bad. So I'm just gonna get this anchored down right here in the front. Cool. So where are we? We're, we're positioned right now, right? I'm gonna have to, I'm fine. I'll, I'll, I can stretch it back a little bit if I need to. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to leave the tape on and remove the backing paper. I spent quite a bit of time prepping this car. Or sorry, car, boat. There's a lot, there were a lot of decals to remove. So the tape, if we're gentle enough, will hold the vinyl there. Because this is pressure sensitive, right? So it doesn't stick very aggressively. The action, the diamond series, the diamond blue that I'm gonna be putting on is actually pretty aggressive as far as the, the tack goes.
Let's get this up. This is bunched up. There we go. And I'll get the front done here. All right. Just gonna anchor that down a bit. So what I wanna do is I wanna gloss this out, right? So I wanna gloss out this whole piece. I don't wanna pull too hard. So I don't wanna pull the whole piece off. So I'm just checking it out. I can move back, move the camera back a bit. I don't know, you can, like I said, you're not gonna be able to see the whole boat. Let's see, it's probably not too bad from here. You just won't be able to see the back section. Just gonna get that paper out of the way. So I'm still stuck there, I need to remove it. Let's get that off. And let's get this one off. Perfect. So now, when I do this, I wanna contour the film to the boat, right? It's all about the contour. Look at this contour, right? It's hugging itself. Exactly what we want. So I'm gonna stick that there and stick that there. And then I wanna draw the film back a little bit more. Let's get rid of this piece of tape now that we don't need it anymore. Perfect. So I want it to contour really nicely. Excellent. So you can't really see what I'm doing back here. I'm just Getting it anchored around a little bit. I don't want to stretch too much. All right, so we're looking good. I'm gonna fix this up. So this is actually a really large piece. Could have went with something a little smaller, it's fine. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of uh, shield guard because it'll help with the glide. And less abrasion on the gloss black wrap. So I'm heading back right now. That's about it. Don't need a ton. So let's get it anchored right in the middle here. So as far as the squeegeeing process goes, it's super easy because it's super flat, right? I'll have this squeegee down in like a couple minutes. Won't take long. sure I got all the air out of here. And I'll show you guys a little knifeless tape as I do it. It's an old boat, right? This is like a, I don't know, it's probably gotta be at least like 10 years old or so. Maybe it's, maybe it's not.
lifting it off of the edge so that I'm not stretching it down to the edge. So I'm using the soft squeegee for this. It just contours a little bit nicer. And then I'm gonna use the hard edge squeegee to push the film into this trim piece a little bit more. As soon as I finish up the back section here. I've also got a, uh, the orange chrome hand hygienesis I wrapped uh, last year, or late last year, uh, here for ceramic coating. So we're going to do a ceramic coating on that once the boat's finished. All right. Now let's do the knifeless tape. Let's tape visible. I don't know if you guys can see me in this or not, hopefully. The knifeless tape will keep that line as straight as possible for us. pieces of tape and the string all at once. We have to go over the edge and seal it off. Perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is tuck in a little bit further. If I masked the trim off, it would have been a little bit easier. So I have to pull, I keep my squeegee here as I pull the vinyl up. That way I don't pull the vinyl too far, too high up. And this just gives me the extra bit of slack that I need to tuck, tuck the film in. What's going on? That little crease there, there we go. This guy, this guy sounds angry. All right. Oh, 
almost there and then it's the last cut after this well then I gotta cut a little vent thing here on the side and then we're done most of my time on this boat has been spent removing the decals so we just gotta find a sweet spot here This trim was a little bit looser on the other side, so it was a little bit easier to cut, but I found a good spot, so it's definitely gonna chew through this one blade. Just wanna find a nice little gap for that blade to sit in. Once I finish this bit right here, we'll get into the exciting stretching of the blue. It's really uh, exerting actually. So this boat eats into a ton of material. It eats into six yards of material. All right, just gonna go over it. Excellent. It's heating it up down here a little bit. Saw a wrinkle. The vinyl doesn't love sticking to the gel coat, just an FYI. But as long as we're stretching across, it shouldn't be too bad. So let's cut out this little vent. And then we're good. So I'm just trimming on the rubber part of it. So before I do anything else, what I'm going to do is wipe the boat down just briefly in case I got any shield guard on it because the film won't stick to it and then we're going to go for the blue. So one thing also is that this pulley gets in my way. It's kind of a pain. So whatever, work around it, especially with how much I have to pull, it's, it's a huge pain. There's some shield guard there. So I definitely have to wipe the boat down. I'm just going to pause it for two seconds. guys so I've wiped the boat down and I'm gonna get the 
diamond blue positioned. So I need to start about a foot and a half back, roughly. I'm just gonna ballpark it. If I'm within a couple of inches, it's fine. Because I wanna stretch the front and back evenly. So what I'm gonna do is pull down a corner. See some stuff there. Okay, that's good. Sorry about the noise. So all I wanna do is just anchor that end. Again, we're gonna use tape. I'm gonna trim off some excess because I know I have a ton of excess. That's good. So you're gonna see this is a, this is a full roll of the diamond blue, the, the the most full roll I can get from Grimco. It's about to end. Ugh. Okay, I'm actually sitting pretty good right now. So let's get the back anchored. All right, so I've got a ton of extra film on the bottom. I know I don't need this much. It was only like not even 24 inches. So I'm gonna cut off a bunch of it. And I'm just gonna ballpark it. I know, I know that I'll have enough. I don't wanna have too much because it makes it difficult when you have too much film. So I'm gonna take this and just roll it as I go. I'm just looking at the lines on the back. So I can try and keep the blade as straight as possible. there. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do right now is get this lowered a little bit. come down that's why and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my one of my favorite tools 
to split the backing paper. So this tool that I have right here, wherever it is, when I was just using the cut, what do I do with it? This tool is really handy because it's Teflon coated. So what I'm gonna do is slide this in between the vinyl and the backing paper. And I can trim off some backing paper. So I'm gonna start about halfway, right? So somewhere around here. Let's get this guy off right now. And then, so it's on the opposite side that you wanna only slit the backing paper. You don't wanna slit the vinyl, okay? Super important, don't forget that. So I just cut the backing paper only with this tool. This is amazing. Now, I'll work the front section since the camera's already there. So I'm gonna start rolling the backing paper back at this point right here. the backing paper, there we go. I'm gonna get it back a fair bit, nothing too crazy. It's probably around there is fine. And I'm gonna start stretching the film. I wanna really wanna make sure that this side is anchored down. So I'm gonna end up pulling on the film, right? What I'm trying to do right now is make it so it's consistently stretched everywhere. can take a few inches, a few inches, a few inches, a few inches, and keep doing that until I get my foot and a half. So all I did was anchor it down. Should be able to take a bit more. I couldn't pull too, too hard the first time. So this is not usually the case. Like, if you live in the States, you have better access to material. I would have just bought, I would have bought this roll in. Oh, there it goes. Let's go save it quick. I would have bought this roll in a full 10 yard piece and not have to worry about this because this is a bummer, right? So. So to prevent that from happening again, what I'm gonna do is anchor it, hinge it right here. Still got some good shield guard left on my buffer. Perfect. So you can see I'm making my way down now, right? gun handy. I'm going to bring it back to about here. I'm going to try and go for this final pull right here. Like I said, this is the tough one because the pulley is going to get in the way. I'm not going to stretch too much near my hands because I want to make sure there's no tension on the very edge of this film. So as soon as I meet the, the joint of the other one. And again, like I said, the pulley gets in the way. 
There we go. I'm under, and I'm way over, which is perfect. All right, so I'm happy with this. What I want to do is I'm just going to heat it up and let it shrink a little bit. I see zero discoloration. Heat it up here and then we're gonna anchor it all down in the front. I'm gonna make sure that the very front edge of the boat has zero tension on it because I have so much excess film now I can let it shrink all the way back. I've taken I've taken all my stretch from across the largest surface area possible. Put that shrink, perfect. Shrink the top section right here. So by shrinking the film, what I'm doing is I'm allowing it to be more uniform again. Just in case there might have been any discoloration. I stretched over a very large area, so I'm pretty confident that I didn't cause any discoloration, but I can see that there's no discoloration right now. Man, it sounds like there's an anaconda in here right now. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So I'm gonna come back a bit. Right about there. I'm gonna heat it and let it shrink. And all I want to do is smooth it out, all right? And that just means pulling in different directions. I have to watch this right here. So, because the pulley's in the way, let's get myself down on a better angle. So no tension up there, which is good. A little bit down here. So we kind of we have to wrap around the front as evenly as possible without adding tension here. Perfect. I'm going to leave about a half inch overlap from the other piece. This is the front of the bow, right? So we want to make sure that we have good overlap. The front of the boat's gonna take a lot of uh, beating from the waves and stuff. I'll probably even put a piece of seam tape right there on the very front. It's not often that I use it, but I have it. Let's fix this up. I'll just gently, you can see that I'm not adding a lot of stretch. I'm just glassing it out. Excellent, way over. So I've got a ton to work with there in the front. Now let's move to the back. There's a little thing and there's a little uh, notch thing in the back, so it's gonna be kind of fun. There's like a little rubber grommet right there as you can see the very back, that white thing. All right. So it looks like I was a little bit more towards the front of the boat than the back. 
Uh, I have about the same amount of stretch to go, but I have more film to be able to stretch back with, so everything should work out just fine. So what we want to do is get release the backing paper, get it rolling, perfect, and take it part way. And I'm going to heat it and stretch it a bit, all right? So let's do that. that again it came off again so I'm gonna go fix it so we're just gonna gently heat it up a bit and then I'm gonna move, pull it so that everything stays consistent. Perfect. If we stretch only some of this vinyl and not all of it, it will leave an inconsistency in it uh, as far as the gloss, the gloss texture goes, or the gloss finish goes. We don't want that. So you might ask yourself, would I be concerned about this lifting? Well, no, because the vinyl is coming in this way across such a large area that it's not going to, it's not going to be able to peel up. As long as I have a few inches on either end, as long as I have a few inches on either end, power just went out, then we're good. So, as long as I have a few inches on either end that are, sorry, that have no tension on them, then we're good. So I think I locked that in, yeah, okay. Now I'm gonna go for the last one here and get it to the corner. too close to my hands. Should be good about there. No, I'm gonna bring it back a bit more. Oh, almost. As long as I'm not adding stretch where my hands are, we're okay. So I'm gonna just Anchor that down for a minute. I'm a little high, so what I need to do is bring it back again. Give it some heat. It's like that Ice Cube song. You can do it, put your back into it. Again, not heating too much where my hands are because that is going to be near the end. All right, we're good. 
Do not let go if you stretch the film because it will it's gonna want to contract, right? All this is gonna want to contract. Alright. I don't know why the back was a little bit harder than the front. But either way we got it done. So I'm just gonna balance out the vinyl a little bit. I need to know where up and down are, so where I'm working from up and where I'm working down. It's almost a little high here. Let's see. Try to bring it down slightly from here. There we go. It's better. That's where it should be. Perfect. Happier with that. All right. High up here still, so I'm going to bring it down again. In that middle point. And I see no discoloration, so we're good. blood gone, that's for sure. So I'll show you how to cut around that little rubber grommet. camera there. giant air bubble there. Even Avery won't release that, so we got to go in there and let it out ourselves. Checking everything out. Now we're 
work around that little rubber grommet in a minute. So what I'm going to do is release the top and kind of let it come around the rubber grommet. And what I want to do is trim on top of the rubber grommet, more in the middle. I'll get you guys closer. So this little rubber grommet here, I'm right over top of it. It's right there. What I'm going to do is cut more on the inside of it. So I know I have tension on the film, right? So now, if I lift it off just gently. Yeah, I'm doing a video, what's up? What do you need? Do you have to vacuum? Yeah, turn it on. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I just want to turn the compressor on. I'm sure you guys are used to the sound by now. I let it shrink around it. Because so I know I stretched it, right? So the fact that I can add a little heat now. Get it back to where it wants to be. Oh, a little mistake there, got a wrinkle. Let's get it back up. There we go. So again, for whatever reason, it doesn't like, the vinyl doesn't love sticking to the gel coat. Finish off the rest. So you can actually still see the uh, lines that were part of the decals underneath slightly. It's just, even though I cleaned it off like crazy, you can still see it. So it's one of those things you can't really avoid too much. I'm not exactly sure why I don't have an answer about that. So.
All right guys, slight interruption there, sorry. So I've got to do the knifeless tape now. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll just start, start this end so you can see. I can't run the camera at the same time, so this is what it'll have to be. I'm just gonna give myself some access here so I can see it better. I've just got it on the other side right here. Come around. Let's do it. Oh, I'm, that's a small spot right here. Come on. Had a wrinkle over top of it. That's all good there. get the vinyl up so I can take everything all at once. Got a little chopped up back here, so I'm gonna fix it by hand. Strings everywhere. Way better. All right. Make sure we're all tucked in at the top right here. it up here somehow. All right, we're good. Got way too much wrapped around the edge right now, so I'm gonna trim some back. if I masked off this trim piece because the vinyl would slide off a lot easier, right? As I normally do, but I just didn't do it because I was being lazy and now I gotta work harder. There's always a disadvantage to being lazy. It's fine, it's just, I have to peel the vinyl back a little bit more. I have to put a little more effort into it, that's all, more muscle. Use the firm squeegee so we can get it tucked in there really nice.
perfect. All right. We're all the way. I'm going to leave myself about a half inch again. Overlap. Since this, the boat is in the water all the time, we want to make sure we've got pretty good overlap. the front end again a half an inch and I can just free end cut this not a big deal perfect and now that that's done let's get the underside Fold it over itself. There we go. And I missed a huge piece there somehow. See the silicone coming out? It's just an old boat and it's seen better days. So wrapping over the silicone is not ideal because it doesn't want to stick. So I'm gonna go over this whole thing with the seam tape on all the edges afterwards just to make sure everything stays down. This got all wonky, so let's fix it up. There we go. Silicone coming out. Let's go over it, make sure it's good to go. Just gonna finish up this back end and then we can still look at the boat. Oh, 
post heat in case there is some stretch. if there was somewhere to tuck into this rubber grommet, but there isn't. I don't like how it's exposed like this on our edge. That's it, that's the boat wrap guys. So let's check it out. So I'm gonna put a piece of seam tape here and straight down here. Got to clean off the uh, shield guard from before. back on. That's it. So you guys want to see the flake in it. It's hard to tell what there's no light right now underneath the boat. I don't have any good light actually at all. So yeah, super nice color. As you can see, we've maintained the consistency of the finish all the way through. Even though we've stretched it a lot. Cool, and that's it. Guys, I hope you liked the video of the boat wrap. It was, it's been a process to do this thing. I wasn't expecting to take off so many decals, but uh, hey, it is what it is. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video of the boat wrap, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, probably be a while before we even get one of these. And then, uh, yeah, if you want to see the Q50 in rose gold chrome, do not forget to subscribe because it's going to look amazing. And that's it. I'm going to be doing this ceramic coating on the orange chrome Genesis. And yeah, now that's it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care.